Hello ladies, this is Custom Weeks by Lady Melva, your local wig maker and licensed hairstylist. And today I'm coming to you with um, the 100% um, Human Hair by Serena. Uh, and it says Amy too, and it's the Premium Essence Yaki. I'm getting ready to uh, make a, a, a client of mine a wig. Let me adjust my... There we go. Sorry. There we go. Sorry. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, make my client a wig. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the hair. Uh, like I said, uh, when I'm using uh, beauty supply hair, I talk about this wig right here in a minute that I make myself. Um, when I'm using beauty supply hair, this is the hair that I go to uh, because I'm real familiar uh, with this hair. It's not real expensive hair and it's not uh, like the real uh, cheap hair, okay? And it's um, this is the uh, P1B30. This color right here. Um, she just wanted a pop of color at the top. She wants a 12, 14, and a 16 inch, okay? And uh, this this hair, I'm, I've been using this hair a long time when I use uh, beauty supply hair, so I'm real familiar with it. I know how to make it last. Uh, this I, I've made my wigs, and, and I wore uh when I used to sew it in. <coughs> of course, when you sew it in, it uh tends, you know, not to last as long as if you would make a wig uh out of it. When I when I used to sew it in, it would last uh like a month, about a month, which is good. Okay, which is really good. But when I make my wigs out of it, it lasts like three months. That's because I don't I don't sleep in it and things like that. And then when I shampoo the uh, hair extensions, I use the uh, shampoo conditioner that doesn't have sulfur in it. And my trick is uh, when I condition it, I condition it like over an, over an hour. Uh, I'm sure you ladies are all too familiar with uh, how to, you know, condition your hair. But with this hair, I I condition it like for over an hour. I just, I just let it sit and go do something else or something like that and just let it sit and kind of forget about it. And then I rinse the conditioner out really good, you know, uh, with, with cold water. I'm just letting, I'm just telling you ladies uh, how to take care of this hair if you're interested in, you know, going to your local beauty supply and purchase this hair. And when I rinse it off, I put a oil on it. And the oil that I prefer to use is, um, oh, Lord, because I didn't move around y'all in this little area so much. Oh, I know where it is. I'm sorry. Hold on. I use I use the um the Kenra oil. Okay, the Kenra let me put these specs on y'all. I use the Kenra silk and gloss, okay? That's this 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 is what I use. I also use this on my clients here and I also use this on my uh hair extensions, okay? So <laughs> when when I rinse the conditioner off of of uh, this hair I put that on while the hair is wet. I don't put like a whole bunch because it doesn't take a whole bunch. I put like a little piece, not a piece size, but like a dime size, you know, and get it real good and um, real good and covered with the uh, silk and oil by Kenra, okay? And then I just let the wig uh, dry overnight or the hair extensions. I'm, I'm, let's, let's, let's say, um, well, let's go ahead and say wig. Let's say hair extensions. Whichever, it's all the same because we talking about the hair. So let's let's say uh on the hair extension. So when I put the uh silking gloss by Kenra on the um hair extensions <clears throat> and I don't dry I don't blow dry it or anything. I don't put it in a dryer, I let it sit overnight. And when that hair dries, it be so smooth. Um I'm I'm not really telling you to buy this because this is um you have to get this through i get this out of out of our state beauty for a uh, licensed cosmetologist so i don't know if they sell this to the public or not uh, i heard just my one of my clients told me it was at ultra but it's like really expensive so you could use the Mor moroccan oil the jojoba oil uh what is that one the uh argan oil 
uh, those, you know, those kind of, any kind of hair polish or any kind of hair serum. You can use any of those. There's plenty of different kind of hair polishes and hair serums out there to choose from that you can use. You don't have to use this specific brand. This is the, just the brand that I like to use because I'm real familiar with it. And this is the brand of hair that I like to use because I am real, really, um, really familiar with it. Okay, ladies? So, uh, I think I already told you that her wig is going to be a 12, 14, and a 16. With uh, The top is going to be made with this uh, color. Because she just wanted a little pop of color. <coughs> I'm sorry. And I, I'll upload um, that video. And by the way, ladies, before I forget. Let me, let me check my time. Okay. By, by the way, ladies, before I forget. Uh, this That's what this hair is. This is the Serena hair. Uh, like I said, when I don't order uh, hair to uh, make my wigs out of that I go to the beauty supply because I am a a very local person I just like to go go to the store and get it you know what I'm saying um you know when I can or when I when I when I have to or when I'm kind of like pressed with time or whatever but this but this is still my go-to her just just period hands down because I'm all too familiar with it and there's nothing wrong with sticking with what works okay I'm not saying that trying nothing new is bad no 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 because you don't want to get put in no box but when something works go ahead and stick with that okay and I'm really familiar with uh, working with this hair so this is just the hair that I choose when I go to my beauty supply to my local beauty supply okay ladies and I am wearing the uh, Serena hair the Yaki uh, straight and this these are wand curls okay this is not uh, curls but ain't they gorgeous look at that that is beautiful. Them wand curls is popping, y'all. And I just put the wand curls in and I let them sit, you know, maybe like overnight or something. And y'all, this hair it mimics it mimics African American uh, African American hair. You you can see, you know, the the yaki hair really mimics African American hair, okay? Whether it's the relaxed African American hair or the uh, natural African American hair, flat earned out, okay? So that's why. That's that's why I like this hair because when you curl it, it's like really thick, just like that Brazilian hair. The the, the curls they really stay in. This the the curls on this hair really stays in, and so then in the morning I brushes it out with my uh with a vent brush, paddle brush, whichever word you prefer. Okay, ladies, and I'm wearing um this this is one of my custom wigs that I made uh for myself and. Uh, before you know, you ladies leave a comment on anything. It 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 does shed a little bit. It's you know kind of like men on shedding. Like I said, it all depends on uh, you know what it is. But it it does have minimal shedding and things like that. But they have a weft sealer out there and all of that good stuff where you can prevent it you know from shedding so much. Okay, ladies. Okay, and um. You know things like that, so it's okay. Okay, I, I'm I'm I don't really mind like a little shade. Her gonna shed your rear hair sheds, so I'm not all off in it. I don't like that. Okay, it's her is her to me. You don't. I'm not all up in it like that. Okay, ladies. So, and I'm wearing a a, a twelve and a two fourteens. Okay, I'm I don't and I'm I'm about five three. So a uh, 14 inch looks a good a good length on me. 14 inch uh, looks a good length on me. So okay, ladies, I'm just just showing you my just showing off my little custom made wig. Okay, ladies, and this is machine made. This is machine made. Okay. So, okay, ladies, that's all I, I'm checking my time. I, that's all I wanted to, what does that say? <laughs> that's all I wanted to come to you ladies with. Um, if you desire to get a uh, custom wig made by me, you can reach me at 918-814-9751. Or you can visit me on my Facebook page at Custom Wigs by Lady Melva. And, uh, or just you can email me at, at uh, StubblefieldMelva. Uh at gmail.com okay ladies so and when I make make uh, the wig for my client I will 
uh, upload. But I am using, before I forget, I just looked at the other um, other uh, tracks over there. Um, I'm going to be making her wig out of, uh, like I said, 1B30 and and the 14 and the 16, they're going to be uh, 1B2. Okay, this is their uh, 1B. See how that mimics African American hair? My screen went black. Sorry. Anyway, and when I after I make the wig, I upload another video with that. Let me get on off here before I start rambling. Um, it's good to be back on YouTube, ladies. I know I haven't been back on here. I got a, a new uh, uh, computer, so. I'm on here, and I probably learn how to do the little slide pictures and things like that. But if I don't <clears throat> put up pictures, um, uh, you can go to my Facebook page and put my and my pictures are on there. Okay, okay, ladies, this is Custom Weeks by Lady Melva, your local wig maker and licensed hairstylist, making Tulsa beautiful one wig at a time. Thank you, ladies, and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Um, I don't respond to anything negative, okay, ladies? Let's keep it classy because we are ladies. We are beautiful ladies, okay? Let's support one another. Okay, ladies? God bless you. And as they say, good night. <laughs>